Manufacturing is coming back to the boot mills. The electric motor company, ePropelled, chose Lowell as the place to build their small, lightweight, multi-purpose motors. We spoke to Nick Gruel, CEO and president of the company, about their motors and his vision for the company's future. In the electrification of the planet, which is what's going to happen over the next few years, most people are predicting this, there are three technologies that really matter. Um, number one is the battery. Number two is the is the electric motors. And the number three is the power electronics to manage all that. So ePropelled is actually designing um, and manufacturing of uh, electric motors as well as the power electronics. So I started last year looking at who's got the best patents. And it turns out, in my opinion, um, that the best patents were um, from a company in Wales, in the UK, um, where um, this, this fellow, who happens to be a very nice guy, he's our uh, global CTO now, and uh, he happened to be working on motors for the last 15 odd years, and had a company called Electronica. Really liked the fella, and I said, you know, it might be a good idea for us to actually merge your company into the new formed company, ePropel, here in Massachusetts. I've done companies at other places, okay, um, and sometimes you're in the middle of nowhere, and uh, I wanted us to be in an inner city area. Okay, so we looked at two or three different places, but the main two that we looked at was Lawrence, uh, and then the second place we looked at Law. Restaurants and food is very close and it's very nice. And plus the biggest reason was the University of Massachusetts Law. In fact, we hired uh, David last year and he just finished his PhD. Um, and uh, he's worked out really fantastic. And we're hoping that we can actually get more kids out there. We've actually set up a manufacturing line here for the air motors, by that I mean drones as well as flying cars. So we have people now coming to us and saying, you are actually a U.S. company manufacturing in Massachusetts, in law, you know, they don't have to go to foreign lands, uh, you know, to actually get this. And we've got really great reception. This is, this is my best show and tell. So <laughs> this, this here basically is a one horsepower motor. Yeah. Right? This is a half horsepower induction motor. This would replace this in size and weight, yeah. but twice the power <laughs> of that. <laughs> Flying cars are the next step for today's drone technology. It's a lot easier to build a car that's just a little bit above the skyline, if you like. It doesn't have to be at 30,000 feet like a jetliner, but it just has to be above a certain level. Let's assume that it's a taxi. I think this is probably going to be a number of companies I know are working on this stuff, and we're certainly in discussions with them, where you actually, in Boston Common, have a bunch of taxis. You get in the taxi. It goes up and goes to uh, Central Park in New York in 45 minutes and land. I mean, that's the ideal thing. So I don't think that the first wave of things will be a flying car in your garage or my garage, but certainly there will be, you know, services coming in where it makes it very efficient. In my opinion, I think we're probably about five years from having those type of services in place.